A tragic event has happened at McDonald's in 2011. Didn't we all used to love McDonald's? Their delicious, mouth-watering cheeseburgers? But something terrible has happened. What do you call a mash of beef scraps that has been chopped and then spun in a centrifuge to remove the fatty bits from the meat to separate it, then washed in a water and ammonia solution to kill the E. coli, salmonella, and any kind of pathogens? According to the government and the company that invented the process, you call it lean, finely textured beef. But to the natural food activists, the product goes by another, more disturbing name, pink slime. Celebrity burger chef and food activist Jamie Oliver is a man on a mission to stop the use of pink slime. This is a product that is sold at the cheapest form for dog food, and after the process, it is given to humans. There was nothing on labeling that would let you know you were eating this mess. Jamie Oliver's stomach-turning presentation on his TV show, Food Revolution, state that this slime is not fit for human consumption. Jamie Oliver has spread the horrors of pink slime across the world through newspapers, his TV show, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Help us let the world know about pink slime. Needless to say, McDonald's has suffered a huge loss in brand image and reputation on a global scale affecting the franchises worldwide. The fast food chain has made attempts to re-establish confidence and reinstill trust in its consumers. One particular national franchise worthy of mention is McDonald's Canada. By far their runaway success is attributed to effectively utilizing social media to amplify corporate transparency in a new, large-scale content marketing campaign. In June of 2012, they launched a major campaign to regain and rebuild their brand image by directly connecting with their consumers to dispel any myths that have gathered throughout the years over McDonald's food. People are invited to submit any question they would like McDonald's to answer on a dedicated website. It's an interactive platform that integrates social media with a submission of questions. To ask a question, one must connect via Twitter or Facebook, hence effectively creating a viral social presence by having these questions published on users' feeds. By April 2013, over 20,000 questions have been answered. Critics have praised that McDonald's Canada is balancing the need to promote with the need to inform. We searched for answers to our own questions and the result was an astounding number of responses to similar questions asked by Canadians. Many consumers are wanting to know the same things, but McDonald's Canada was determined to answer every single question individually, even the tough ones. But the sincerity of their commitment can be seen in the personalization, even including direct links to fact sheets of what could have been the success of this campaign stems from the honesty in their personalized answers and live response team. The buzz created has been very positive. It's still ongoing and continues to reflect new attacks on the fast food chain, such as the very recent allegations of animal cruelty. On the official McDonald's Canada website, the campaign website is given immediate exposure on the homepage. By building trust with complete and raw transparency, McDonald's Canada has successfully tapped into the power of social marketing and promotion through empowered consumers. 
Needless to say, McDonald's has suffered a huge loss in brand image and reputation on a global scale affecting the franchises worldwide. The fast food chain has made attempts to re-establish confidence and reinstill trust in its consumers.